So question six. So um, we've got to describe the single transformation mapping P onto Q. Well, it's an enlargement, one mark, scale factor two. The second mark is twice as big. The lengths are twice as big. Take the length across the middle. It's gone from two to four to scale factor two. But we need to describe where the center of enlargement is. So how did I work out that it was zero, zero? Well, do one of these sunshine rays, or a couple of these sunshine rays. So take a common point, so say the top point here and here. Draw a straight line and extend the line. Take another common point, say for example this bottom point here, extend the line. And where these cross, that is the center of enlargement. So the center of enlargement was zero, zero. Now for part two, the only tricky bit really is getting the mirror line correct. The mirror line is where x equals one. Now the temptation is to assume this line is across here, so parallel to the x-axis, but it isn't. The mirror line is this line here, x equaling 1, okay? Once you have the mirror line, it's a straightforward reflection, so 1 square away, 2 squares away, and so on. Now just to clarify why this is the line x equals 1, consider various points on this line where we've got 1, 0, or 1, 1, or 1, 2, or 1, 3 etc. All the coordinates on this line, so here are some of them, what do they have in common? Well the x value is consistently 1, so x equals 1.